application of spectroscopy to diatomic molecules. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe the IR spectra of diatomic molecules. Explain about microwave and rotational Raman spectroscopy of diatomic molecules. IR spectrum of carbon monoxide, an exhaust gas mixture from an old time car without catalytic cleaning. The IR spectrum of carbon monoxide shows a high peak. Nowadays, a modern car exhaust contains mostly carbon dioxide, water, and the carbon monoxide concentration is very low. As CO is polar, it can be detected by IR spectroscopy in motor exhausts. This helps to control air pollution. Diatomic molecules are valuable test cases for understanding molecular bonding and spectroscopy. Because a diatomic molecule is necessarily linear and has only one vibrational mode, its vibration rotation spectrum is relatively simple. The equilibrium bond length, rotation constant and harmonic vibration frequency are easily obtained from the spectra. Let us discuss about IR, microwave and Raman spectra of diatomic molecules. If diatomic molecule cannot interact with IR radiation like hydrogen and oxygen, it is said to be homonuclear. If diatomic molecules consist of two different atoms such as carbon monoxide, the molecule is said to be heteronuclear and IR active. The vibrational energy level of a diatomic molecule is modeled in a harmonic oscillator depending on a force constant and the molecule's effective mass. Observe the typical potential energy curve of a diatomic molecule. Force directly proportional to minus x, where x is the interatomic distance in a diatomic molecule. F is equal to minus kx. The frequency Nu for the simple harmonic motion is given by nu is equal to 1 by 2 pi into square root of force constant divided by reduced mass second inverse. In spectroscopy, the unit commonly used is wave number. So, dividing throughout by velocity, we get wave number nu bar is equal to v by c is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi c square root of k by mu second inverse. Like all other molecular energies, vibration energy is quantized. Permitted vibrational energies can be calculated by using Schrodinger equation. Accordingly, the energy associated with any vibration state is given by E is equal to H nu naught into N plus 1 by 2 joules, where N is vibrational quantum number and nu naught is fundamental vibrational frequency. Suppose there is a transition from lower frequency vibrational level N to higher vibrational number N dash, then delta E vibration is equal to E dash minus E equal to N dash plus 1 by 2 into H nu minus N plus 1 by 2 H nu equal to delta N H nu. For transition between adjacent vibrational energy levels, we get by applying selection rule. Delta N is equal to plus or minus 1. Therefore, we get delta E is equal to H nu. So, we get nu is equal to nu naught. That means the vibration of absorbed infrared vibration should be the same as fundamental frequency of the molecule. Microwave spectra of diatomic molecule Rotational energy arises when the molecule rotation about an axis perpendicular to the internuclear axis. Absorption of radiation in microwave spectra 
results from transitions between the rotational energy levels of the molecule. This rotational energy for diatomic molecule is expressed in terms of center of gravity and moment of inertia. Let us see how this is done in microwave spectra. Consider a diatomic molecule of equilibrium bond length R rotating about its axis through center of gravity so that distance between center of gravity and mass M1 and M2 is R1 and R2 respectively. Evidently, R is equal to R1 plus R2 and M1 R1 is equal to M2 R2. Moment of inertia of the molecule I is equal to M1 R1 square plus M2 R2 square is equal to M1 R1 into R1 plus M2 R2 into R2 is equal to M2 R2 into R1 plus M1 R1 into R2 is equal to R1 into R2 into M1 plus M2 also, we get M1, R1 is equal to M2, R2 is equal to M2 into R minus R1. We get R1 is equal to M2 R divided by M1 plus M2 R2 is equal to M1 R divided by M1 plus M2. Substituting in the moment of inertia, I equation we get I is equal to M1 M2 square R square divided by M1 plus M2 whole square plus M1 square M2 R square divided by M1 plus M2 whole square is equal to M1 M2 R square divided by M1 plus M2 is equal to mu R square where Mu is the reduced mass of the molecule. Also, angular momentum is quantized and given by L is equal to I omega, where omega is represented as angular velocity. This works out to L is equal to square root of J into J plus 1 into H divided by 2 pi, where J is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, called the rotational quantum numbers. Now, the energy of a rotating molecule is given by E is equal to 1 by 2 I omega square. Hence, the quantized rotational energy levels of a rotating diatomic molecules is given by energy level is equal to 1 by 2 into I omega square is equal to I omega whole square divided by 2I is equal to L square divided by 2I. Energy level is equal to J into J plus 1 of H square divided by 8 pi square into I. It is customary to report the energy level in centimeter inverse instead of joules. Hence, we get energy level is equal to H squared J into J plus 1 divided by 8 pi square IC. This is equal to BJ into J plus 1. Since B is the unknown from which moment of inertia and the interatomic distance can be computed, we get B is equal to H squared divided by 8 pi squared IC, which is equal to rotational constant. Rotational Raman spectra of diatomic molecule. Next, let us see the moment of inertia of a diatomic molecule in Raman spectra. I is equal to mu R naught square, where I is the moment of inertia and R naught is the equilibrium Internuclear separation and mu is the reduced mass. Mu is equal to m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2. In case of oxygen molecule, 
mu is equal to m oxygen divided by 2. Here, the molecule is rotating about its center of mass. Quantum mechanical rotational energies From the animation of the ice skating girl, you can see angular momentum is equal to I omega. Therefore, rotational kinetic energy is equal to half I omega squared which is equal to L squared by 2I. Quantization of the magnitude of the angular momentum with the rotational quantum number J gives L square is equal to J into J plus 1 of H square divided by 4 pi square. This is equal to J into J plus 1 of H bar square where H bar is equal to H by 2 pi. Therefore, we get the rotational energy is given by ER is equal to J into J plus 1 of H bar square divided by 2I. J is equal to 0 involves no change in rotational quantum number and therefore no change in energy occurs. That is, this is elastic scattering or Rayleigh scattering. J is equal to plus 2. The scattered photon imparts energy to the O2 molecule and therefore the scattered photon loses some energy in the scattering process. This is Stokes scattering. J is equal to minus 2. The scattered photon gets energy from the O2 molecule and therefore the scattered photon gains some energy in the scattering process. This is anti Stokes scattering. For example, J is equal to plus 2. You can see that from the difference in rotational energy levels, B can be calculated from which moment of inertia of the molecule can be computed. Hence, the bond length can be calculated. Summary In this lesson, you have learnt about diatomic molecules are valuable test cases for understanding molecular bonding and spectroscopy. Because of diatomic molecule is necessarily linear and has only one vibrational mode, its vibration rotation spectrum is relatively simple. 